Hey everyone, Kevin with Forever Green Indoors, and we're here to do a new segment on growing food and flowers at our test garden here in Seattle. We wanna show you our progress, so let's go take a look. In previous segments, we covered grow lights and grow mediums, and today we're gonna to visit PAR meters, which is an instrument that's used to measure photosynthetic light on plants, and it's very important for indoor growing. But before we do, we're gonna go back and we're gonna revisit grow mediums real quick because something interesting is happening here in our test grow. So we're using Rockwell blocks for half of our plants and this is a grow medium that holds water very well as well as nutrients and it takes a long time for this block to dry out. So the plants really get to soak in the moisture and the nutrients more slowly than say other grow mediums like Coco Core. You may recall that coco core is also an artificial grow medium. It's ground up coconut husks. It also holds water and nutrients extremely well. And what we wanted to show you real quickly is that these plants here are grown in rock wool and these plants are grown in coco core. These are the same plants that we showed you in segment one when we first started growing food and flowers indoors. Look at the plant health though for these plants that are growing in rock wool. They're larger, the leaves are greener, they're stacked better. You can see the Rockwell block here. Now these plants grown in Coco Core, they're doing well too, as well as any outdoor plant pot would be doing, but there's a few issues here, possibly nutrients or we may have had some watering issues, but they've gotten the same amount of water and nutrients over the same period of time. Which is a big reason that we do these test grows here trying different food, flowers, and other plants to see what makes them tick. And I know one thing that I've learned today is that I'm going to be using Rockwell blocks to get all my summer plants started in my own planters and my vegetable gardens this summer. Let's get back to the topic at hand, which is PAR meters. We're gonna take a look at the spot on PAR meter by Inequest, and we're gonna compare it to Lux meters and see why it's important for indoor growing. We're here to discuss briefly how quantum PAR meters work as compared to lux meters or light meters in general. And I'm sitting here with the spot on quantum PAR meter from Inequest. It's made in the United States in Chicago, Illinois. So the reason it's called a quantum PAR meter is it measures the quanta or total quantity of photons landing on the sensor at any given moment in time which is the same exact amount of energy the plant leaves are getting if they're at the same level at that same moment in time. Another key differentiator between a quantum meter and a lux meter is that quantum meters will measure the light coming from the sun in the photosynthetic band, which is 400 to 700 nanometers. A lux meter does not do that. It just measures the general brightness coming from a light source. High quality quantum PAR meters like the spot on have the ability to account for what's called azimuth error. And this is light that is transmitted from the side, not directly above the sensor. The sun moves from one side of the sky to the other during the day and grow lights do transmit light from different areas that bounce from one fixture to another. So the spot on can measure. So then exactly how do lux meters work? Lux meters measure what's called foot candles of light, which is just a measurement of total light brightness. It has nothing to do with the quantity of light that the plants are receiving, and it has zero to do with the wavelengths or colors of light that the plant is receiving, and it's not accounting for light coming from different angles in any way. And finally, a disadvantage of lux meters is that they're not sensitive to light outside the photosynthetic or visible range. Thanks again for joining us today in our newest segment of growing food and flowers indoors in the winter here in our test garden at Forever Green Indoors in Seattle. Interested in a PAR meter or any of the technology that we show on this series, please visit our website. It's easy to order and we ship really quick. Thanks for joining us. Talk to you later.